All right, Jennifer LeClaire here with you, Senior Leader at the Awakening House of Prayer, founder of the Ignite Network. I want to speak with you for a few moments about wisdom. About wisdom. Wisdom is the principal thing. With all of your wisdom, get understanding. We see that admonition in the Bible. And we also see in the book of 1 Kings the utter lack of wisdom that Solomon's son displayed. The utter lack of wisdom that Solomon's son displayed. We also see the goodness of God in the scripture. I was just so moved this morning in my, when my devotions uh, about the, the goodness of God, you know, Solomon, we knew he was the, the wisest man on the face of the earth. He drew Kings, and leaders from around the world who would come and ask him hard questions, like the Queen of Sheba is one who's specifically mentioned, but the, the Bible says that people came from all over the world to hear his wisdom, and there was nothing too hard for him, nothing he could not answer. People marveled at his wisdom and his riches. But then he fell. He chased after other gods. Therefore, we see that even the most anointed, even the most appointed, even the most powerful wise person in the world can be deceived but that's not what i want to talk to you about today today i want to look at his son rehoboam 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 now when solomon died rehoboam took over as king first kings chapter 12 verse 2 when jeroboam the son of nebat who was still in egypt heard of it They called and sent for him. And Jeroboam and all the congregation of Israel came and spoke to Rehoboam, saying, Your father made our yoke unbearable. Now, therefore, make the grievous service to your father and heavy yoke he put upon us lighter, and we will serve you. So we're asking for some relief. But verse 5, Rehoboam said to them, Depart for three days, and then come back to me. And the people departed. Verse 6, King Rehoboam consulted with the old men, who advised his father Solomon while he was still alive and asked, how do you advise me to answer the people? And they spoke to him saying, if you will be a servant to this people this day and will serve them and answer them and speak kind words to them, they will be your servants forever. But he rejected the advice the old men gave him and consulted with the young men who grew up with him and who stood before him. And he said to them, what advice do you give on how we should answer this people? Who have spoken to me saying, make the yoke your father put upon us lighter. And the young men, verse 20, the young men who grew up with him. The young men who grew up with him said, thus shall you answer this people who said to you, your father made our yoke heavy, but make it lighter for us. Thus shall you say to them, my little finger will be thicker than my father's loins. Whereas my father loaded you with a heavy yoke, I will add to your burden." My father chastised you with whips, but I will chastise you with the scorpions. So Jeroboam and all the people came to Rehoboam on the third day, just as the king had appointed, saying, Come again to me the third day. The king answered the people roughly and forsook the counsel the old men gave him and instead spoke to them the following advice of the young men he said my father made your yoke heavy and i will add to your burden my father chastised you with whips but i will chastise you with scorpions thus the king did not listen to the people for the cause was from the lord that he might fulfill his saying which the lord had spoken to ahijah the shilonite to jeroboam the son of nebat so when all of israel saw that the king did not listen to them the people responded to the king and said what portion do we have in david We also do not have an inheritance in the son of Jesse to your tents, O Israel, and see to your own house, David. Now, here's the thing. Whose advice are you listening to? The Bible says that the wisdom that comes from above is first peaceable and reasonable, easy to be entreated. But the the, the, the wisdom that comes from, from below is demonic. And so here we see Rehoboam counseled with some wise old men, and they told him what to do. They gave him good counsel. But he rejected it. And then these younger guys who he was friends with gave him counsel that caused his demise. So you have to learn how to discern the wisdom of God in the counsel you hear. Not everybody has the word of the Lord. Not everybody has the wisdom of God. Sometimes, and I'm not saying that younger people will always give bad advice, but sometimes rejecting the counsel of an elder can be the 
beginning of a season of trial for you. I recently went through something where I sought out counsel, very specific counsel, and I got counsel I didn't really like. My soul didn't like it. It was, it was a hurtful to execute the counsel I was given. It, it was going to hurt somebody. It, it caused me pain. But I kept going back to the point that I need to listen to my elder on this because in my spirit, I knew that it was right, even though my soul didn't like it. And then that wisdom was confirmed by other elders. Now, if I'd have asked my contemporaries, if I'd have asked the younger ones, the ones I came up in the Lord with, they would have told me something different. And if I had listened to their advice, it would not have turned out well for me. So my counsel to you today is to discern the will of God in the wisdom you hear. Because everybody has an opinion, but not every person has the wisdom of God in a certain situation. Everybody has some counsel, but not everybody has the spirit of counsel on them to tell you what the will of the Lord is. So I urge you today, please, 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 when you're seeking counsel, don't forsake the counsel of the elders in your life. Now, they might not be right, so you still have to discern, is this the will of the Lord? But don't be so quick to dismiss the wisdom of an elder because they've walked in places you've not walked. And if their motive is right and their heart towards you is love, most of the time, it's wise counsel. But you still, you must hear from the Lord yourself, even in the, voice of, even in the midst of counsel. I have learned to discern the voice of God in the counsel. There's safety in the wisdom of many. There's safety in the counsel of many, Proverbs says. There's safety there. So get more than one opinion if you need to, but listen and ask the Lord, what are you really saying in this? Whose voice should, who has the, the, the will, the mind of God in this thing? Amen? I want to pray for you. Father, I thank you in the name of Jesus that you give us wisdom. You give us wisdom. You give us wisdom and discernment in the name of Jesus. Help us, Lord, in Jesus' name, to hear your voice in all the counsel that we receive and to be ready, able, and willing to execute that which you've told us to do through your wise counselors, even if it causes our souls pain. Give us grace and peace and an understanding of your will in all things. In Jesus' name. Listen, if you want more content like this, deeper, stronger, longer, you can go to SupernaturalCoach.com and receive more counseling, spiritual and natural, in that venue in Jesus' name. Guys, have a great day. I'll be back with you tomorrow.